First, here at 9 o'clock, investigators are working to figure out why a skydiving plane crashed in Luling this afternoon. Three people were sent to the hospital. KXN's Jacqueline Powell filed this report from Luling with a look at some of the damage. The plane crashed in this field right behind me here, and you can see there's still a couple of DPS vehicles out here watching it tonight. Now, for perspective, the airport is just right down the road, about a third of a mile this way. We can't get much closer to the crash scene because this property is gated, but take a look. The Caldwell County Office of Emergency Management posted this video earlier showing the damage. DPS, the FAA, and the NTSB are leading the investigation. They tell us the Cessna was carrying five people total, a pilot and four skydivers. And we're told the pilot was airlifted to Seton Hayes County and that two of the passengers were taken by ambulance to St. David, South Austin. DPS says the other two passengers refused treatment. Right now, there's no word on the condition of the passengers who were taken to the hospital. Investigators aren't releasing the name of the skydiving company yet, but we do know that there's only one that operates out of the airport here in town. We'll keep you updated as we learn anything else in this investigation. In Luling, Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. And just like other commercial operations, planes used for skydiving need a 100-hour inspection. Federal standards also require an annual inspection of aircraft, and the FAA and U.S. Parachute Association also wants pilots to check out their fuel tanks often. The groups note the majority of jump plane accidents were the result of fuel exhaustion, starvation, or contamination. According to the National Safety Council, a person is much more likely to be killed getting struck by lightning than dying in a skydiving accident. In 2016, there were 21 fatalities out of more than 3 million jumps. That's one death for every 153,000 jumps. That's one of the lowest levels in the sport's history. In the 70s and 80s, skydiving averaged 35 to 40 fatalities a year, and there weren't nearly as many jumps.